I'm gonna keep it very short and sweet here in the intro. These deals are urgent. They will go away in the next couple of days. So if there is something that you've been waiting to buy or something that you think might be useful, do not delay. Links for everything are in the description below. I've been scouring the Black Friday sales and here are the things that I've bought or the things that I think are absolutely worth buying. All right, we're gonna start off here with the bang, the Lexar 128 gigabyte V60 II memory cards. Um, this is a two pack for $90, $45 each. This is a really, really good memory card. I think for most hybrid cameras, for example, even the A7S III, which is you know a pretty good video camera, this is gonna record all of the highest bit rates bar maybe the absolute top S and Q mode. Um, so for all the slow motion video, 4K, um, all the high bit rate, S log 3, all that stuff, this is gonna be the best value for money card you can possibly get, I promise. I personally use this. I've just stocked up uh, yesterday. I bought a couple more. Um, this is a crazy deal. Um, don't sleep on this. Really, really good memory cards. If you don't shoot video and you're just a stills person, this is the deal for you, 66% off. I literally can't think of a situation where this would not be enough for a stills shooter. You could probably put this in your camera and shoot for a month and still not fill it up. Um, yeah, for just over $50, this is a steal. If you only shoot stills, get one of these, get a couple of them, um, stock up now, 66% off. Recommended retail, $160, that's a great buy. Um, okay, I just bought two of these light stands to replace my backdrop light stands. So I have one of the newer stands already. It's a three meter um, spring cushion stand, um, which I absolutely love for the price. It's yeah, around, I think it was around the $40 mark. Um, but these ones are excellent for a few reasons. Uh, first of all, I will say they haven't arrived yet. I'm yet to try them out, but um, heavy duty, they're all metal, including I'm pretty sure the knobs and everything. Uh, three meters, that's really tall. In most cases, that's taller than you'll need for absolutely anything. And better than all of those features put together is the fact that they're air cushioned, which means if you are, if you unlock them, they're not gonna drop and slam. Or if like me, you are often doing these sort of shoots by yourself, if you're putting up or putting down a background, as you slowly inch it down, um, you, you know, doing it by yourself with one hand, it's not going to, fall quickly, squash your hand, damage your equipment whatsoever. Um, I actually can't believe the features that this is claiming to offer. So I'm hoping that these are going to be my new um, go-to background stands. Yeah, they look awesome. I just bought a, uh, I bought two of them, $48 each, you know, 100 for, for two great light stands. That is such a good deal. By the way, all these prices are in Australian dollars. Um, you'll have to do the conversion for American dollars for yourself. Okay, I just bought this this morning. Um, this is nothing out of the ordinary. It's just a basically a reflective umbrella with a scrim diffuser in the front. But I think this might be the best value for money modifier that you can get. <clears throat> in terms of actually a big modifier, I mean, for $33 Australian, 43 inches, I'm pretty sure that's about a meter 10. Like that's a, that's a pretty big modifier. So if I can collapse this down to the size of an umbrella, I can literally keep this in my car under the seat and walk around with just a small flash, a single stand and this umbrella softbox and take very you know professional, elite quality looking photos. So I'm really excited for this. For the price, absolutely can't go wrong. Um, again, this is a big, big modifier. $33. Um, I'm, I'm really excited to use this one. Okay, moving on next. This is the light that I'm actually using. This is the modifier that I'm using right now. Um, if you can see the light on my face, see the quality of that. Um, I've spoken about it in videos before. 65 centimeters. It's a perfect, perfect little size. Um, quick pop-up softbox. And yeah, it's. I, I just love it because it's so portable and the you can get a nice soft look as you can see now by seeing the light on my face if you get it nice and close, but you can get sort of like a medium to hard light if you move it back a little bit. Um, I've used this recently on a lot of my on location um, environmental portrait shoots. So yeah, this is a banger, 25% off, you know, for $56, I would absolutely grab one of these if you don't have something like that already. Okay, the Niwa um, clamps. I use these for a bunch of different things for my fill cards, for my um, big pop-up reflectors. They're so happy. They're just they're just so handy to have. You stick it on top of a light stand and you just clamp in, 
your bounce onto there. It's also got an umbrella shaft, three of them for $33. That's actually silly, $11 each. You would be absolutely mad not to have these in your kit, in your grip kit. So um, pick up these if you haven't already. I, I have them, I love them. I just wanna jump in here at this moment and say links to everything in this video are in the description down below. I've done all the heavy lifting for you so you don't have to scour the internet yourself. If you wanna pick something up that you've seen, uh, help me out at no extra cost to you. I've done all the hard work, just click the link below. Um, related to that is the big pop-up Niwa reflector. Um, Double-sided, there's a white one and a black one. This is probably the thing that I use absolutely most um, out of all my sort of supporting equipment, all of my, um, I don't know what you call it. I suppose it's just grip, but um, I use this on almost every photo shoot. The black side is really good for blocking light. If you don't want to let light in, the white side is really nice as a bounce reflector. It's much better than silver. It's much more natural and, um, you know, just pleasant to look at. Um, this is a big size. It's like two by 1.5 meters. It's quite big. I've actually got one. I don't know if you can see, but I've got a the scrim version of this, which is like a shoot through version of this blocking uh, my window in the back just to limit the amount of light coming into the room. Um, yeah, 20% off for under $60. These are so, so good. Genuinely one of my most used pieces of equipment. Um, okay, so this is a little screwdriver set. I actually bought this yesterday and it arrived this morning. Um, this is just so handy to have. Have a look. Super compact, very slick. Um, I can't tell you the amount of times that I've needed a little Allen key or Phillips head or something to, you know, tighten up a tripod or uh, a tripod plate on the bottom of my camera or, you know, something comes loose. Like that takes up almost no space, almost no weight. I'm going to stick it in my camera bag and um, so, so good. So not only is it $9, there's also a 20% coupon um, here. So it literally cost me eight bucks and it just looks awesome. I'm really excited to use this one. Um, small one, but a good one. Okay. Moving right along. I'm conscious of time here. This is the Godox V1 flash. Um, I've, I'm, I want to go on record and say I was so wrong about this flash before I've used a Sony cache for my on-camera flash and it died after about half a dozen uses. And recently I picked this up as a replacement. And in terms of like a TTL flash, like an on-camera flash, it's, absolutely fantastic and the batteries last forever um so look while it is pricey for a small flash if you're gonna use it on camera like for weddings or events or, or whatever i absolutely recommend this this is the cheapest that i've seen it i'm pretty sure i bought one of these for about 350 a couple of months ago and i think that was on sale as well i think normally they're around like the 370 380 price range so for under 300 bucks this is a great um, it's great for off-camera flash too, um, but especially good as an on-camera flash and um, the battery lasts forever. I absolutely love it. This next one looks absolutely awesome. I've um, been buying a lot of small rig products lately. I've been building out my new video rig. I bought an FX30 and the small rig products are fantastic. I have been hearing from a lot of sources that this is the small um, V-Log battery to get if you are building a video rig. Um, they're expensive though. They're a lot more expensive than some of the other brands, but at 30% off under $300, this is a 99 watt hour um, V-Lock battery. You can do so much with this. You can um, power a laptop. You can power your whole video rig and monitor and um, gimbal, everything. So, so good. Um, I'm probably going to pick this up over the weekend sometime. I'm just trying to work out what I want to do with my rig, but that is such a good price, 30% off. Um, if you are a video person, grab yourself a V-Lock. You will definitely use it. You can also power lights with it. Yeah, this is a great buy. Okay, on the small rig and the video kick as well. Again, 30% off. This is a small rig 220 watt video light. Um, it's variable uh, color temperature. Um, so from cool white to warm white, um, I've got an old Godox light in my studio here, but I'm ready to upgrade this because I'm looking to get into shooting more video stuff. So I need something a bit more powerful, a bit more reliable. I'm pretty sure this particular flash is sold by a few different brands and rebranded. I'm pretty sure it's the same as the Cold War one, um, which I have used and I loved. So for under 400 bucks, this is the video light that I'm going to buy um, sometime over this weekend. And yeah, I'm going to upgrade my setup 
and I think that is awesome. Okay, this one is really cool, um, not for all the photographers, but for the audio heads out here. If you know anything about audio, you know that the Shure SM7B is a legendary vocal microphone. It is a dynamic mic, which means the closer you get to it, the louder it's gonna be, and the further away you get from it, the less you're gonna hear of it. Um, but this microphone has literally been responsible for some of the biggest records of all time, Thriller, by Michael Jackson was recorded on this microphone. And this is the cheapest I've ever, ever, ever seen this. Uh, in fact, I just upgraded to this Rode PodMic USB and I sold my interface and whatever. But if I knew I could get an SM7B for this price only a few weeks later, I would have bought this. Um, yeah, I don't think they normally sell for a thousand, but they're probably around the seven to $800 mark. So yeah, that's still like around half price. Um, if you're into audio, um, every single podcast that you see or hear uses these microphones. They're fantastic. Definitely grab one of those. Um, okay, this is a small one. Um, Nifty 50 1.8, um, 30% off, $240. Um, if you don't already have a little 50mm lens in your kit, this is a great buy. I personally um, don't really use third-party lenses. I, I've always advocated for the Sony or like, you know, the reputable on Sigma, those sort of brands um, a little nifty 50 that looked like a great deal i don't own this but i think it's a great buy if you're looking for a 50 mil and you shoot sony pick one of these up talked about this a hundred times panasonic Enelope pro the best nickel metal hydride batteries you can get in my opinion for your flash um, well well worth having or if you have batteries already get rid of your old ones or you, you know relegate your old ones to the back of your bag and move these ones to the top um, yeah, I can't say enough good things. They recycle quickly, they last a long time and if you charge them and put them in your bag, they will keep something like 80% of the charge even after a year of them sitting and doing nothing. So, so, so good. Love these batteries. Probably the cheapest I've ever seen them. Um, this is another one I don't own but I've thought about buying and I think is something to look into for a lot of people if you're heavy into retouching. So this is the Logitech MX Master mouse and basically every YouTuber or desk setup video will feature this mouse in particular. The reason it's so good, firstly, it's just ergonomically, I think it's much better for your hand and your wrist to use just the way that your hand sits on it. But secondly, it's got all these extra buttons that you can actually configure, I'm pretty sure, configure them to keyboard shortcut. So let's say you're in Lightroom or Photoshop or whatever and you have a specific brush or a specific function that you use, you can actually map some of those. There's a second wheel on the side under your thumb or some buttons under there and you can map some of those to literally be your keyboard shortcut. So basically without even having to lift your finger at all, you might even get away in some instances without having to use the keyboard at all. So yeah, I thought this was a really interesting um, concept. At the moment, I'm gonna to stick to my Apple mouse just because I just like the simplicity of it. But this is one of the best mouses out there. And um, yeah, the best price I've ever seen it for. It's like, yeah, what, $65 off or something. So just over hundred bucks, this is a great buy. In my last video, I talked about um, sensor cleaning and there has never been a better time to pick up a sensor cleaning kit. Not only are they $30, they're normally just cheap as anyway. Um, $22 Australian, um, that's probably like 10, I don't know, 12, 13 dollars American or something. This is such a good buy. I'm pretty sure it's got 10 swabs in it. So you can get 10 sensor cleans plus the blower, lens pen, the cloths. Um, yeah, if you've seen my last video, you know how good this kit is. Um, there's a full frame and an APS-C version. This is such a no-brainer, $22. Get yourself one of these kits, you won't regret it. Okay, this one's a little bit interesting. Um, I've got enough batteries, so I don't think I'm gonna buy it, but it's something I've had my eye on for quite some time. Again, made by Small Rig. This is a Sony NPFZ100 battery. Basically, any Sony camera currently on the market uses these batteries, uh, I'm pretty sure, at least all of mine do. Um, and this is a third-party one, so it's a Small Rig version, but I'm pretty sure it has the right chip in it so your camera will recognize it, which means it's gonna show you the capacity and it's not gonna give you any weird warnings when you put it in. And I will say, not only is it $48, so 30% off, it's half the price of what a Sony brand of battery would be, it's also got a USB in it, so you actually don't need a charger. You can plug a cable right into the battery and charge it up like that, which is so handy because Sony cameras now don't come with chargers. You have to plug it into the camera or you have to buy a third-party charger and plug it in there. Um, so super good. And not just that, it's a quick, It's I'm pretty sure it has quick charge, um, whatever that means. Supposedly it goes from zero to full in 2.5 hours. Um, yeah, for 50 bucks, if you don't have a spare battery or you need more spare batteries, 
this you can get two of these for the price of a sony one um so i think that's well worth it thank you so much for watching these deals are about to disappear do not delay if there's something that you want to pick up links are in the description down below and i'll see you in the next video bye